sir? What are you uh, up to here? Why are you taking pictures of the building, sir? Sir, I'm on a public sidewalk, so no, you're my taking pictures state. of the jail. You got yeah. some ID. Have I broken any laws? No. Yeah. What law have I broken? Show me your ID. What law have I broken? Show Can me you your ID it? before I have to take you into custody. I have the law right here, sir. You can't take pictures of the jail. I have studied the law, sir. I'm on a public sidewalk. All right, put your camera down. Put your camera down. Put your hands behind your back. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm your host Peeps and in today's video, cops harass citizens for recording in public even though it's a constitutional right. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Leave a comment and a like to help this video spread for others to enjoy. As always, I will leave the links to all the original videos in the description below so be sure to visit their channels and show them your support. Now let's get into the video. Put your camera down. Put your hands behind your back. Your hands behind your back. Right. What law have I breaking, sir? Well, we're gonna find out. Seriously? Yep. Yeah. I asked you for it once. You didn't give it to me. Come on in. I haven't broken any laws, sir. It's you okay. understand? It's okay. You picked me off the public sidewalk. You I understand did. what you just I did? did. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna talk to somebody. Okay. Let's see who am I gonna talk to. I don't know who it's going to be yet. You understand what Penal Code 148.G stands for? No. No? No. Okay. You understand the First Amendment of the Constitution? No. No? no. Freedom of press? No. No, exactly. I can't believe you put me in handcuffs, bro. Right. You're going to be hearing from my lawyer. All right. Stay head off this way. Yes, sir. Oh, man. You're breaking the law, sir. Your immunity goes down the window. Just letting you know. Go on. Officer Misko. Hang on a second. 21 Hang on. I told him I have a constitutional right to take pictures. I have no weapons, I have nothing on me, so just letting you know. Control notified me as I was going out that he was out there taking pictures of your security entrance. Okay. Sir, so it's my First ID. Amendment right. He wouldn't give me ID, um, ask him what he was doing, taking pictures, he wouldn't answer. Okay, can you, let's get all this stuff off him. It's exercising my First Amendment right. Do you understand why we might ask you concern? No, about? sir. I have the First Amendment right to and do what I'm doing. You, yeah. That's it. You why. I haven't broken any laws. We've had people who have drove cars through that door. Sir. We have had people fire guns into this building. In the right. Past. We have reason to suspect oh, yeah. that you may be up to no good. Okay. That's saying you are. That's a, you're detained uh -huh. because we have a suspicion okay. of wrong. Okay. Okay. I'll be speaking to my lawyer about this. Because you cannot break the law, sir. You're breaking the law right now. You're not enforcing any laws. I'm here. I know the law, sir. This is not my first time doing this, okay? I'm doing this story. Got this camera equipment off him. Let's hang up him again. There you go. I'm sorry? The First Amendment protects the right to photograph anything in plain view in public spaces, including police and government facilities. This is considered a form of public oversight of our government and can't be deemed suspicious or criminal. Police cannot turn a constitutionally protected right into a crime, but these cops are either uninformed or just plainly do not care about our rights or the oath they swore to protect. If Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, oh, great idea. Let's do that. Hang on. Okay. 
Man, you didn't even let me speak. Huh? Can you jump and try to record me already? Don't you guys already have cameras here? Sure, but this has got sound so we can hear you too. Oh, okay. All right. What can we do for you? <clears throat> Who's in charge right now? Huh? Who's the watch commander right now? Watch commander of? Who's in charge right now? The in charge of the sheriff's department is the sheriff. Okay. Scott Jones. Is he, is he here? Official? Yes, please. And what about him? Do I have to explain that to you? Well, I don't know what you'd like. Okay, I was I was just kidnapped from the uh, public sidewalk for taking pictures in public by uh, a couple of your um, co-workers. So I would like some complaint forms and I would like to speak to someone in charge. Now the sheriff's department, are, are you referring to downtown here? Uh, I was right outside the main jail on the public sidewalk taking pictures. I was handcuffed and kidnapped, taken inside, and um, I was released within 20 minutes. Okay. But I would like the name and badge number and ID number of all those officers okay. involved okay. so I can pursue this. Okay, so you want to make a complaint against them? Well, that would be the first step. It sure would. So there you go. There's a complaint form. And That's just one. Ask for all of that in your complaint. I would like four complaint forms. Well, you can do all of it on one complaint form, or you can make copies of that. I have to make copies. You can't. Can I have a couple of more copies of that, or no? Um. Well. Um. No. You can make copies of that. You've got one. You can make all of that on one complaint. Okay. You can make multiple complaints on one form. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Healy, and my badge number is 035. 035. And then you said who is in charge right now? Uh, Scott Jones, he is the, the is, elected official. Is he, he present? elected by the public. Yeah, is he present right now, or? Uh, I, I don't know what his schedule is. Can you tell me what his schedule is? I cannot. Uh, I if can't. If you want to call his staff and find out what his schedule is. Do I have to make an that. appointment to speak with him, or? You would have to make an appointment with okay. him, as if you were making an appointment with the governor or the president of the United States. You have to make uh, appointments with elected officials. Okay, can I get the number, please? Sure. You guys have a couple of tyrants working here, man. Pardon me? You guys have a couple of tyrants working here. Well, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't fo photo correction facilities. Excuse it's me? It's the law. It's against the law to take pictures from a public sidewalk? Of, of a jail facility, yes it is. Oh my god. <laughs> I, and, and, you too, sir? Well, you do, and you're, it's you're... That's the law. If you want the law... That's the law. You probably go to the state. How about, I, you know what? If you, How if about... You show up at a prison and you start from the prison, that's about to the same thing. Do you understand what that is, sir? Uh, I'm not looking at it right now. I'm giving you the number that you wanted. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. It's I'll okay. Wait for you. I'm trying to be cordial as possible. See, this is the problem Problem with the police officers and public officials, man. There you go. I appreciate it. Okay, so you want to take a look at that for me? Well, I can't see it up there. Do you? Yes, yeah, sir, absolutely. Like yes. I would like to have you get educated. That way, you guys won't violate somebody else's right. Okay. Where does this have anything to do with the jail facilities? This doesn't say anything about jail facilities. This is about taking pictures in public places, sir. Uh huh. Sidewalk is not a public place. Uh, if you're taking a picture of a jail facility, it doesn't matter what I'm taking pictures yes, of. Yes, it does. Sir, you're a officer of the law, and you don't know the law. I do know the law. You obviously don't, sir. All right. Well, I'm not going to argue with you about. It's the not law. about arguing. If this is the law. If you want to check. If the law library down the street, whether you can take I don't have to. I just showed you the penal code, and probably help you out with that. I just showed you the penal code, and you're telling me that it's still for, against uh, the law. Taking pictures of a jail facility, also. It doesn't matter what facility I'm taking pictures okay. of, what well, building. If you disregard the law, then you may have problems with law enforcement. Okay, so why was I just let go right now? Uh, they took me inside, and then lieutenant had to come and correct the situation and let the officers know that they just broke the law. And he apologized to me, and he let me go. And I told them that I will be contacting my lawyer, and I'll be dealing with it. Okay. So now, again, I'm coming here, and 
I see that you, again, you don't know the law either. Okay. So how were you an officer? So you weren't cited? No, sir. Okay. You cannot violate my First Amendment right. I'm not doing that. I'm just sitting here talking to you. But obviously, if you don't know that, if you're on the street one day, you probably would violate somebody's right because you're just telling me that it's against the law to take a picture of... Uh, the county jail. County jail, okay. <laughs> wow. All right. That's why I do what I do. I would, you know, I would like to educate people like you, but obviously, um, it's going to take a while. You know what I mean? But that's fine. Um, I'm gonna handle this. So. All right. All right. Good luck to you. Well, thank you. You might want to look into what I said. What I said. So in case you All don't right, violate somebody, because when you violate somebody's uh, First Amendment right, your immunity goes out the window because you're violating my civil rights. You know. All right. Good so, luck to you, sir. All right. You have a good one. All right. All right. I'll be here for a minute. So. The First Amendment right to photography in public spaces plays a significant role in a free and open society. It supports not only the pursuit of artistic expression, but also the fundamental right to document and share information about the world around us. However, with this right comes the responsibility to be informed and aware of the ethical and legal boundaries that accompany the power of the lens. Looks like we got somebody coming at you guys. I don't know. How you doing? Doing good. How can I help you? You got a bottle of water and a lollipop? I do not, but you are not allowed to video the branch. Why is that? Because it's a federal institution. You cannot video it. Oh, I'm not. I don't plan on going inside of your bank. I'm not doing you can't nothing. Video the outside of my branch. It's a bank. Okay. You cannot video it. But I'm actually working on something. Okay, but you can't video the branch. Well, I'm not going to be out here long, you know, j just a few more hours. I'm not going to be too long out here. Either stop videoing or I will call security and have them stop you. Security? You cannot video the branch. Oh, call security. Security can't do nothing. Just don't call the... Okay. You can get off our property. I'm not on your property. You are. We own this You own the sidewalk? We own all of this. What's your name? Mine's Jillian Parker. Jillian. Okay. They checking the door and making sure the door is... How you doing? Hi, if you could just exit our building area, I'm the district operations manager. And what's your and name? I'm, my name's Jacqueline. Okay. I would prefer that you don't record me. And what's your name? What can we help with, sir? I asked her, did you have a bottle of water and a lollipop? No. You don't? We, I, I, they don't have bottled water for clients. Yet. Or lollipops. Uh, you can go through the drive-thru if you'd like. Um, but we can't have you videoing and taking surveillance of our building. And like I told, so I'm going to ask that you leave the premises, or we're going to have to have you escorted out. Like I told the young lady that just came out. Um, so why are you still recording? What is the like, purpose? I can't even talk. You won't stop talking. No, no because we've asked okay. you to leave. Okay. So we'll just have an escort come kick you out. An uh, escort? Police escort. Uh, you don't call the police? Yes. You must want me to leave, huh? You're videoing a bank. To exit our building property. But like I told the lady, I don't have no intent on going on we you guys' property. Anybody that comes out here with a video or camera, we're going to come approach. So we're going to ask that you go ahead and leave. And, and that's fine. Like I was just telling her, I have no intent on going on you guys' property or on the inside. I'm videoing our building. But I'm, that is a security issue and I'm asking you to stop. But I'm not on your... Okay. Thank oh, you. Just... We'll call, I'll call why you can't you talk to her? Like, yeah, you got to turn the video off. Why do I have to turn the video on? Well, this, is, this is a security issue. Uh huh. This is a bank. Why'd you walk up so close? So I could talk to you. I can hear you. Okay. Like I was telling her, I'm working on something pretty big. This is big for me. So I told her I was just coming down here to do some recording. Okay. Uh, we're not, going not allowed to do that. From the sidewalk? Right. Well, here, I'm just going to go around there. Then I'll get the, um, maybe the drive through. Is this where the employers park at? You can't video the bank but i'm not on your property but you can't video the bank it's a security issue for what for the employees who work here what are their concerns that people who would want to rob this bank would video it to see how things operate and then use that you're not allowed to video it. <laughs> how crazy do this hell man i told her you I don't work, work in the industry you don't work uh -huh. in the bank that's a security protocol you need to stop okay well i told her they I was, are going to call the police i, I mean it's up to you. She's really calling the police. Yes. You really think she's doing yes. it? I know she is. She must want me to leave, huh? 
No, they want you to stop recording. So if I stop recording, everything's good. Do you have business at the bank? I'm not at the bank. I'm on the sidewalk. Okay. That's the whole thing. Okay. I'm just telling you, they're calling the police. Okay. It's up to you. I mean, if she calling the police, it's too late now. No matter if I stop or anything. If I'm standing right here, she's going to, they still going to pull up. So, but is this where the employers park at? That's not the question that we're going to answer. Okay. Why do you need to know that information? Because I was going to actually record their cars and get their tag numbers. And why are you doing that? But because she's calling the cops. Why are you doing that? Because you're not allowed to video that type of information. I actually am allowed to no, do this, sir. You're, you're not. Are you a betting man? I'm telling you, when the police show up, okay. they're going to ask you to leave and okay. tell you to stop. How about this? If you're wrong, would you apologize to me? If I'm wrong, I apologize to you. Of course, they'll make me leave. But I tell them before I leave, let me apologize to this gentleman and these ladies. So if you guys are wrong, would you guys apologize to me? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hold you to it. That's fine, but okay. they're telling you they're going to make you leave. Okay. I, I, I'm going to hold you to it, man. Okay. You know? So what I am here doing, man, I'm an independent journalist here gathering content for a story. And what story? I can't say. Why? Because it'll compromise the story. It hasn't been published yet. Okay. Then you need to go through U.S. banks uh -huh. protocols uh -huh. to get information to be able to do your story. Do you this got the information for this it? This is not. Do you got the information? What information? You said I got to call whoever. Yes. Okay. You, you can't just walk into a bank. I didn't walk in you guys' bank. You still can't photo this. This information is a security problem. Even though I'm on the sidewalk. I've explained this to you, but you're not recording the sidewalk. You're recording bank the, information. The bank? Yes. Bank information like what? Like the building facility. Exactly. And how if somebody wanted to rob this bank, they would go about doing it. Oh my God. You said, oh, well, man. I wonder why would you say that? Because that's what people do. People, You've heard of bank robberies. Correct? I haven't heard of one. You've that, never heard of a bank robbery? Only in movies. Before? Only in movies. Really? Only You're in movies. You're a journalist that doesn't know anything about a bank robbery. Only on movies. What? What? what uh, when last time a bank got robbed? Any bank. It, it can be anywhere in the world. This bank got robbed within the last three months. For real? Yes. I can do a story on that. I'm a journalist. Yeah, I don't believe that. What What, oh. what company do you work for? Give me your business card. I'm going to send you the story what when I'm done with it. For? I'm independent. I told you I was independent. Yeah. Huh? I can barely hear you. Why would you say that? <laughs> this is uh, Titan's uh, security, actually. He told me I gotta go somewhere else, so I guess he don't know the law either. That's why he's a security. That's why he's tight so and secure. What law do you don't understand to be true? Say that one more time. What? What? How do you understand the law and being able? Because to this is what I do. This is what I do for a living, sir. That's what you say. I think he's running from you. Who are you? I'm an independent journalist gathering and content for name? a story. I told you I give it to. I, I'm not even going. I know you guys are going to see it. I'm not even going to email it to you. Typically, I email it to people so they can actually see. What they look like, <laughs> good or bad? Uh, this is U.S. Bank, actually on 63rd and Truth. I'm not surprised, you guys, because they don't expect people to know the law. <laughs> okay, go down to the bank down the street. Especially, video that, that was my first story I ever did. And what did they do? <laughs> they didn't do. They didn't look like this. I tell you that. What did they do? They didn't do nothing. They, they said. And she said. Ahead. She said she's the manager. This is what I do. You could have looked it so good. You could have looked it good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think you met me before. Nope. All right. I'm surprised banks haven't even called y'all to tell y'all. <laughs> uh, you don't have to. Yes, you do. You don't have to. And let me ask you this just for the record. Uh, do I have your permission to record you? No. Do I have your permission to record? I have your permission though because you've been... I don't have your permission to record you. I don't need it. I don't need it. And you guys, uh, if you see, you know, this guy hasn't been physically, physically uh, rude, but blocking my recording, they coming in hot. 
cherries and berries. And here we go. How you doing? Can I get your name and badge number just so I know who I'm speaking to? Yeah, it's Officer Hall on 5826. Great. How you doing, sir? Can I get your name and badge number just so I can know who I'm speaking to? Right here. I don't want to butcher it. How do you say that? Okay. Hey, what's going on? Why are you uh, out here? No, I'm trying to. I'm, first, let me ID this guy. Like his policy says. Can I get your name and badge number, sir, please? Thank you so much for being professional. Uh, how can I help you guys? Well, we got called here because you're doing stuff and okay. they asked you to leave and you have not. I didn't go on their property or on their property. Okay, well, we also received another call from another bank of you doing the exact same thing about 30 minutes ago. Okay, on the sidewalk. So what are you doing? I'm recording. Why? I let the guy know I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Okay. I told him I have no ill intent. I'm not on you guys' property. I'm on the sidewalk. Well, what's, so, what's the story? I told him I can't say. It's not published yet. How it's Absolutely not. Film. Absolutely okay. not. Do you understand how it's legal for me to record on the public sidewalk? Okay, well, Why won't you tell him you that? Because I'm on the public sidewalk. You're still in the parking lot. I'm on a public sidewalk. Own all the way. Sir, I'm on. Can I get a supervisor out here, please? Let's get a supervisor. Okay. Well, we need to get your information. Absolutely not. Okay. And we'll put your hands. Yeah, they just cuffed me, y'all. It's her right there, Holland. Don't know the law. And she turned my camera off. That's why my camera just... Let me get back to the, the public. Well, let's get off her property. <laughs> Look at Holland. I got you. You know the last time you see me, Miss Holland? <laughs> this is not the last time you see me, Holland. Look at them. Yeah, you guys. So I'm up here at Security Bank. They came and cuffed me. You can still see the ring around me. You still see the ring. You still see the ring around my wrist. She stopped my video. Yeah. Yeah, big dog. Come on, where my apology? <clears throat> big dog, big dog. <clears throat> Come and give me my apology. I'm big dog out here. What's up? You got something for me? No. You ain't got nothing for me? You ain't gonna say you ain't gonna apologize? For what? You said if I'm wrong, if you guys are wrong, that you apologize. What did I say that was? So I told her I was just coming down here to do some recording. Okay. Uh we're not going not allowed to do that. From the sidewalk? Right. So if you guys are wrong, would you guys apologize to me? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hold you to it. That's fine, but okay. they're telling you they're going to make you leave. Okay. I, I, I'm going to hold you to it, man. Okay. What did I say that was wrong? Y'all said I cannot record this building. And y'all called the cops on me. I didn't call the cops. Yo, you said you would have... Man, it's okay, bro. Man, I'm about to get everything. Look at this, y'all. He, he ain't even a man of his word. Transparency and accountability should never be chilled out of fear of unwarranted police scrutiny. Photographers and camera-wielding individuals are legally protected through the First Amendment's freedom of speech and pressed to document freely and unmolested. Unfortunately, law enforcement officers have been known to ask people to stop taking photographs of public places, and those who fail to comply have sometimes been harassed, detained, and even arrested by cops who are uninformed or plainly do not care about our rights or the oaths they swore to protect. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment to keep the conversation going and smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm push these videos out for others to enjoy and helps grow the channel. See you on the next one. Peeps out.